Well, would you look at that. If it isn't the world's oldest Ferris wheel, that can only mean one thing, Wiener Prater. This has got to be one of the most unique parks in the world. It's right in the heart of Vienna, Austria, which is a gorgeous city, by the way. It's something that you absolutely should come see. Don't just come here for the rides. But this is a free-to-enter park. Uh, think of it like a permanent fairground where there's just attractions everywhere and they're all independently operated. So you don't just like get a ride wristband for everything. You essentially pay per ride, which is something that we just did at a German fair uh, a couple days ago in Dusseldorf. So this should be a pretty interesting experience, probably a bit more on the expensive side, but they have a lot of cool stuff to offer, a lot of unique attractions. What are you most looking forward to? Probably Olympia Looping. Yeah, yeah, that, that's the big one currently going on right now. So uh, Olympia Looping is the world's largest traveling roller coaster, so it never stays in one spot for too long. And right now, it's here at Wiener Prater for a limited time. I think it's here till the end of summer or something like that. I think. So I'm stoked that we managed to get it at the right time. And actually, that's going to be my 900th roller coaster, which I think is pretty cool. So let's go on into the park and see what we can find. This right here is your main plaza right as we come in. A lot of wide open space here. Again, there, the world's oldest Ferris wheel. All of the individual cabins look like houses, which is like crazy. That thing is so historic. This park is actually pretty big. It goes way back there. Uh, no sign of Olympia looping or anything. And they are open until midnight tonight, which is crazy. Look at this. Bumper cars with no barrier. So anyone could just walk in and get bumped. First up is Super Bond, which is this actually like decently large roller coaster. It's five euros to ride, although be warned, they accept cash only, even though they have a sign up front saying they accept Visa and MasterCard, and they refuse to take down the sign. We asked them, yeah, yeah, we asked them why they had a sign up if they only accept cash, and they said, we're not taking the sign down. I'm like, well, that's just false advertising, so I don't agree with that personally. For whatever reason, we have water dummies filling up half the seats. Not used to seeing that. Hey, dummy. Hey, that's not very nice. Hey, you'll fit right in. What the heck? Say bye bye dummies. <laughs> All right, here we go. Super Bond. What's so super about it? To be determined. Look, it's Olympia looping. There it is. That's it. a big thank you in the end. You're welcome. I hope you enjoyed my five dollars. <laughs> I feel like the ride I would compare this most to is something like Wizard, you know, like something that's okay, not in like the seating setup or oh. something like, okay. you know, and obviously that's Are like a train goes through, but ride? No, 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 like something in that kind of like style where it's a lot of like, like a tight heel, tight heel yeah. seats. Yeah. Currently at 898, indoor roller coaster will be 899. <laughs> wow, they picked a pretty descriptive title here for the ride. Indoor it's coaster. I know what I'm getting. That's I swear, if this ride is outside, I'm gonna riot. <laughs> Since Wiener Prater loves false advertising, uh, this ride has B and M track on it. So I guess each ticket system is different. This one here are these little discs that you put into this little slot, and that allows you to go. And then next one goes in here. Here you go, Six Flags. Here's something you can do that's cool. So in order for these lockers to work, you put a euro in here. And then that allows you to take the key out to store your items. Then when you come back, you use the key to open again. And then the euro is out at the bottom. So it's actually free, but you still use money. So like, that tells you that they're not doing it for a cash grab. So I like it. What the heck? I've never seen so many Saros at once. Why is there a random Darth Vader right here? And Batman? What on earth? All right, so just don't step on the lasers. We made it. Oh, it's a mower. Oh yeah, I saw one, it's a mower spinner. 
Oh, so it's like laugh track, but cool. You have come this far, so get ready to complete your mission. Is that Darth Vader talking? What the heck? We're trimmed to death. Hello. Whoa. What the heck? What the more trims? All right, so the lights are awesome. The ride experience kind of sucks. That was uh, how you say. How you say, uh, yeah. Eh, yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness it's indoors because uh, if it were outside, then that would actually be like the worst. there on Olympia looping I sat in the back row and I liked it but I have a big problem with it and that is the restraints this ride could be so much better if it just had the normal Schwarzkopf flat bar the fact that it has these accordion restraints absolutely takes away from the ride experience and here's why as you're going around each of these different elements these things get tighter and tighter on you so like it like puts strain on your back so like I feel like I had to like slouch to like actually be able to like extend my my back a bit but then as you keep going down the restraint follows you and so now you end up like smushed like this and it is very uncomfortable um, I mean layout wise it was it was very fun uh, the the two back-to-back -back loops the first two loops um, that are like sequential are the most intense uh, that you actually pull, you grab out quite a bit which is I guess not very surprising um, I was expecting a bit the same from the uh, third no the fourth and fifth loops uh, but that wasn't really the case uh, and I think I did think that uh, the helix there towards the end was a big lackluster so um, uh, initial thoughts I think my favorite Schwarzkopf is still Mindbender at Galaxyland but this is still very good. It's still definitely one of the best Schwarzkopf's. Don't get me wrong. Uh, it's so cool, so iconic, but I wish it just had a lap bar. Alright, next up is, to my knowledge, the world's only boomerang with a lap bar, which is currently getting repainted. So look at this. It got a bunch of like primer on it. Here, down below you can see, look, it's like bright red. Uh, I guess that's going to be the final color. So all these supports and part of the track are like uh, half done. So they're actually painting it during the day and then opening up at night. And looks like there is a tunnel on it, so this should be pretty cool. Let's see how it rides for seven euros. What the frick is that? That was definitely strange, but I didn't hate it. Like, that was by far one of the best boomerangs, I feel like. You know, it, it's a little strange on your hip bones. I wish it was padded. That would be nice. I would love to see more boomerangs get lap bar trains. I don't know if I would necessarily say those exact ones. Like, if, if you're going to go with that exact one, at least add, like, some padding, I think. the one they put on Jolly Rancher where the, it's, like, off to the side so you can't hit your head on it. Yeah, yeah, those are, like, the upgraded boomerang trains are actually, like, are really good. It, it's like a vest, and so those aren't, those aren't bad. This was just, like, your entire top half is, like, wide open. So, uh, this guy's chilling on a chair, and he has a giant thousand-dollar coin coming out of his butt crack. This ride right here is themed to the Coney Island Cyclone. There's a lot of dark rides here, so we're giving one a try. This one's themed to Skulls. I don't know exactly how many dark rides are here, but this one, uh, Skull Rock, was pretty good. scary! The best way I would describe it is a modern day wacky shack. So they asked us not to film during it, so I'll do our best to describe it to you. Think about like a roller coaster track through there uh, where the vehicles can rotate 360 uh, but it's all powered so it's not it's not free flow it's not a credit or anything um, don't get too excited yeah but uh, there's a lot of show scenes there is a lift that takes you up to a second floor um, a lot of stuff jumping out of you good use of audio 
as well as lights. Uh, yeah. They're a good placement where they would have uh, lights, walk away from it. lights pop up, <laughs> where then like things would come at you. There was a really cool effect where it was all dark, and then you hear something coming towards you, and then they do like a strobe on an animatronic, like like coming at you, and it was really cool. I recommend it. That one, that was a good one. I'm glad we did that. From one dark ride to another. This one is called Hotel Psycho. Wow, doesn't this look like a jolly old time? Ooh, here we go. Yay! No photo or video though, so we'll see you guys after the ride. <laughs> it was so fun! That was so disturbing! No, oh, that was I great. I my eyes closed and like, this is coming from someone who's done like a million horror events. That was too much. Ah, nah, it was great. It was, it was so, like, a guy's brain exploded and I got squirted at, like it was his blood. What the hell is that? I don't know, man. Austrians, right? No, so that was uh, that was cool. So this is the facade for it. Um, it uses the same exact system as the Skull Rock one. You can see a vehicle just like just over there going in. Uh, so it was uh, rotating and it was on a, a track. Uh, very cool. This one more of a hotel theme instead of uh, you know a skull theme with like uh, the island creatures. Sarah's hiding behind a tree. Yeah, we can do a roller coaster. Let's do this one. This one looks pretty big. This ride is brought to you by chickens and uh, pigs with hair, and they can give thumbs up. I don't know, whatever. This one uses a ticket that you scan. Green means go. Tickets go here. That moose has a bunch of tires. Oh. This one is pretty big, honestly. Oh boy. Okay, yeah, I think this is one of the bobsleds. Yeah, this, this, this might be a Gersar bobsled? I think so. Coaster. It was. There's like a lot of layers to that thing. It's fun for what it was, absolutely. Park may be expensive because of all the rides, but at least the pizza was cheap. That was like three euros. I think they're open for about another hour, so we'll see what we can do tonight, and then we will be back tomorrow morning. Talk about nickel and diamond, yeah. 50 cents to use the bathroom. Honestly, that's the cheapest I've seen in public. Yeah. It's usually over about. Yeah, that's you do get that internationally sometimes. Yeah, I'm very against. Oh, I, I think it is so that. morally wrong. I, I do not like it all. But in case anyone is interested, because this park is free to enter, it has to end at some point. So like this just like goes off into the woods. I thought you were gonna say for anyone who's interested, you could just go and pee right over here. I mean you can. You <laughs> I don't know if you should, but I mean theoretically you could. I'm not pretty sure that's where that was going. This one right here is Mega Blitz, and uh, I I don't speak German, but I, I think that means it's closed. So. It's kind of a bummer. I'm pretty sure this is like a custom Vacoma. I looked it up. Oh really? Yeah. Well, hey, we can try it for tomorrow. This would be a cool one to do. That's for sure. I am so excited for this. We're about to do our first ever Tagata. Are you ready? Oh, I'm so ready to be ready. Oh man, I'm stoked to see this. Starting to fill up. We still got a lot of room. Come on, people! Come Let's on. do this! Let's do something stupid! Oh, this is gonna be too hard. This is nothing. Hey! Get out! Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my gosh! How are you doing that? What? Oh, my God! This is insane! the best thing ever! Ah! <laughs> oh my god! I am so worn out! I am exhausted! That is oh my god. a workout! That is the best amusement ride ever! That is absolutely insane! Two roller coasters! I'm a Tagata enthusiast now! Oh my gosh! 
You gotta get a fun group though. That is an essential. That was crazy. That like, was nuts. I don't know how some of those people were standing. I, don't know, I, I tried standing. I literally like flew from one side to the other and smashed into another guy. I literally cut my knee a little bit, but that's all right. I cannot believe this thing. I see why it's banned in the U.S. because people sue all the time. There's no way that would work in America. But no oh my way. God, I wanted. I, am, to I cannot believe that that is allowed. Unreal. Look at this bumper car. There's literally like a rotating guy smoking a cigar in the middle. What? Next roller coaster. You're about to do your first Ferrari. So we're gonna see what you think of this. Fly. You miss fly? This this is not fly. Yeah, this is not this is not fly. I'll tell you what though, this feels more out of control than fly. We didn't die. We didn't die. Ah, uh, that might have been better if we had. <laughs> that bad, huh? That is one of the worst things huh. I've ever done in my life. You know, I get it. If anything, let this ride be a reminder that Zamperla is actually good now. And they actually are doing some pretty cool stuff. They've come a long way. So I look at this as a piece of history. And I guess not and all parts of history are pretty. Yeah, it's it's a piece of crap, all right, but it's never ask me to do one of those ever again. No, no, I won't. I won't. Yeah, that was a <laughs> that was that was particularly bad. Midnight is here. We're walking out of Prater. That was well that was a crazy uh, couple hours. This is a very unique place. Um, essentially, a permanent carnival or fair, and I feel like I look like I'm drunk. <laughs> I after the Tagata, I know, no, same. And I'm like, after the Tagata, I'm like, uh, I literally can't walk in a straight line, and like, I'm not. I think the Tagata was the highlight, though. One of the most memorable ride experiences I think I've ever had. Period. Had permanent damage because of it, but it was. But all worth, worth it. it. Worth <laughs> it. That was crazy. Like, you gotta get out to some place that has the Tagata and try one out if you haven't. But. Uh, Vina Prada is definitely cool. So we're gonna come back uh, tomorrow just for a little bit. Um, see it during the daytime in the morning. So we'll see you then.